the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of Boruto. now before i get into it make sure you look at the links down below you can find my patreon where i am 10 episodes ahead with the full reactions available and you can find my discord come in and join our server you know what i'm saying um so last episode of Boruto, we saw the ending of the Genin exam right and well it was a very very actually good display of um of teamwork right they combine transformation jutsus ceiling jutsus everyone's jutsus all type shit and uh, i like the fact how they were all pretty much exhausted afterwards that's how you know they all you know put uh, all their fucking effort into it right and that's what the test was all about really it was about teamwork it was about effort it was about you know trying to overcome a pretty impossible mission in taking a bell from kakashi because let's be honest there's no way in hell even with all their teamwork they're doing that right uh, even even when Mitsuki uh, low-key beat Shino uh, Shino was holding back I know Shino was holding back because he didn't use some of his I guess um, hard-hitting uh, insects right uh, right but um, still though Mitsuki was able to, to beat him uh, in, in an almost fair 1v1 which is pretty goddamn impressive so uh, anyway it was amazing and uh, well they graduated everyone passed everyone passed uh, and I gotta say, the the headman is looking is looking damn good on Boruto. So he definitely belongs as a shinobi, even though he said he didn't want to. He looks genuinely happy when he got the when he got the headman from the Hidden Leaf, right? So uh, I believe now it's it's mission time, it's squad time. Now Inoshika Cho is probably gonna be a squad. Uh, we can assume Boruto and Sarada, and probably Mitsuki is gonna be a squad. We can assume maybe Iwabe Denki and Metal's gonna be in a squad. You know, Sumire, uh, Kiba's daughter, question mark, uh, and the sonar girl, the fucking audio girl, is probably gonna be in a squad. So we can probably see some squads already being formed, just from what we've seen uh, through these fights. And I'm excited, man. I'm excited to see what missions they go on. And I'm excited to see, you know, um, well, I mean, so uh, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura's first real mission was a C-rank mission to help that bridge builder. I want to say his name is Tezuna. I'm probably getting that wrong. It was a C-rank mission initially, right? But then fucking Zabuza gangs them turned it to an A-rank mission. So I hope something like that happens to really test our, you know, our, our kids here to see uh, how, how strong they really are. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I'm just I'm just super excited to, for the for the future of the show. I can see it going in a good way. It's really good. It's it's well paced right now. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's go and get into it. This is Boruto episode 38. Like it's a scrap. <laughs> Uh, bruh. Did that just happen? <laughs> okay, so I'm fully aware of the accidental Naruto and Sasuke kiss. They really did that with Boruto and Serata. <laughs> they definitely did that for the memes. Holy shit, that actually just happened. <laughs> Team 5, okay, I was right on this one. If I get it all right, I'm a god. But it was pretty easy to figure it out. Okay. I'm two for two, baby! And the rest are pretty much confirmed what I said, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice. That was four for four. But also, it was honestly uh, pretty predictable, just according to what we've seen in the episode so far. So. Wait, what? Why aren't they Team 7? Hey, why aren't they Team 7? It's weird. I'm kind of... I wouldn't say mad, but I'm like perturbed <laughs> as to why they're not just sticking with Team 7. Is there a reasoning behind this? つまり、もっと気の合う人間同士で組みたいってことか、これ。組み合わせの変更を要求します。そうだ。そう焦るな。焦ってなんかいません。<laughs> 
Oh man, I thought Boruto and Serato's relationship was solid. Sure, he kissed her accidentally, but that's a little weird. Yo, it's like it's kind of like right now they're uh, they don't even know it, but they're on a mission unconsciously right now together, tracking down the seventh Hokage, right? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Well, I see some QB mode again. It's been a while. It's been a while. Damn. All right. Well, it looks like Naruto hasn't lost his touch. He just broke out of a fucking tri purple barrier super seal jutsu. <laughs> I don't even. Shinjin to Yedo, Tekagen wa Muyoto no Kotoda. Kotoshimo Mos on Nakisetska. Hey, Mirai Taijo. Wait, Mirai. That's fucking Asuma's daughter, son? Anime always does this. Fucking Kurapika from Hunter x Hunter. Other examples. Boy or girl, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Boruto. It's a girl. Okay. Oh man, see, I'm starting to feel some type of way. She's using Asuma's chakra blades, bro. Damn. Good, nice touch. Nice touch. It's a tarp. Oh, luckily we, luckily we got Lil Orochimaru on our side. <laughs> Fucking OP ass. Bro, he just reconstructed the bridge with his snakes. Nah, he's nice. Vinsuki's too nice. Oh! Wait, is that a genjutsu? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, Kuro and I did the same shit to Itachi. The fucking root, root Genji jutsu, jutsu, lol. Well, it looks like Mirai was trained right, and I believe her sensei, according to Shippuden, was our boy Shikamaru. So she's nice. Also, I want to, I want to believe she's wearing a Chunin outfit. お互いの良さを打ち消し合っているように思います。そういうことだ。お互いの良さ。俺とはサラダの動きを気にしすぎて、いつもの思い切りの良さに失われている。サラダはシュリケンや対決をバランスよく使える派なのに、ジャリンガ
what mission or hardship or anything that happened to Naruto, he never complained and he just overcame it every time. So she's got to she's got to do the same shit. You know what I'm saying? A Hokage is just literally an outstanding person. Oh! Oh, well, that's fucking wholesome. I can't help but smile. <laughs> Am I a nerd? Hell yeah. Dude. But I want to know who... Who was the who was the mastermind in trying to make them team three? <laughs> Fire that guy! <laughs> but I think it was just for the the dramatic effect of them requesting for the team seven name, right? Okay. Well, I heavily fuck with that. Dope, dope. You know what I'm noticing about these Boruto episodes? Um, what they're doing a lot, and some I've seen some comments in the YouTube and the Patreon about this too. In some of these Boruto episodes, the beginning seems sus, right? It seems like, uh, this episode, I don't, I don't really know about this episode. It's going to be, uh, but it always ends up a pretty good ending, right? And I definitely prefer that than some, you know, milky, mediocre ass shit, right? So this is fine, you know? I'd rather, I, I, I'd rather the episode start off a little rocky and then end great than the other way around. Because, I mean, that's just shitty. Game of Thrones. <clears throat> anyway. But, uh, yeah, okay, cool, cool. Their teamwork is uh, is obviously on point. They are way stronger, way stronger than uh, Sakura, Sasuke, and Naruto were at their... Oh, well, I shouldn't say way stronger, but they're definitely more talented, and they have, um, you know, a really, really bright future ahead of them if they keep up with their, their ninja shit, right? Uh, I do like the declaration of Serata saying they'll do it even better, and I like even better... How Naruto was like, hell yeah, you are. You know what I mean? So, um, amazing. Great. And it just makes me more excited for the future, man. What missions are they going to go on? What hardships are they going to encounter? What controversies are they, are they going to face? And, uh, I mean, more than that, I, I want to see, you know, I want to see Serata unlock her second and third Tomo. Okay, so, like, we can have a whole conversation about Serata. I'm not, I'm not going to go into it too much right now because I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to make this outro too long, but. Serata, for example, she's got her first Tomo, Sharingan. Second Tomo is going to be unlocked eventually through emotional hardship, I, I imagine, because that's the Uchiha terms and conditions that was <laughs> that was said back then. And she's going to get a third Tomo, hardship, again. But then she's supposed to unlock the Mangekyu, which says you have to murder your best friend or something like that. Something on the equal emotional trauma that, that you experience in that same way. Okay, and her best friend is Chocho. You telling me she's gonna murder Chocho eventually? Nah, that's Cap. Ain't no way that's happening. I mean, it could, but I like Chocho, right? I want to see her go even further than the butterfly Choji that we know. She can, she can surpass that, right? She can become a freaking dragon or some shit. Um, and then the Eternal Mangekyu. She's she 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 she, 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 she she's a lone uh, child. Okay? Or is, 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 is Sasuke and Sakura going to have another baby and then Serata going to murk her or him? Pfft, no, that's not happening. That's not happening. So I'm more curious as to what Serata, um, how she levels up her powers. Because we know the Uchiha terms and conditions is fucked up. It's fucked up. Okay. Um, so there's that. And of course, there's Mitsuki getting all of Orochimaru jutsus and more. And of course, there's Boruto, uh, who doesn't have the QB inside of him. So how is he going to progress, right? There's so many avenues to think of how our characters, our main three characters, we can say now, how are they going to level up? Um, Serata is more, you know, laid out just because we know what happened for, for Sasuke. But Boruto and Mitsuki, I, I don't really know how they're going to get stronger besides learn new jutsus, you know? Um, I mean, I guess Boruto can learn Sage, but I don't see that in his kit, right? He just seems like a fucking talented ass dude. So maybe he'll just learn a bunch of jutsus, combine them, and just be a badass. I don't know. But um, as you can tell by my, by, by my long rant about these three and about the show, um, it's pretty awesome so far. It's pretty awesome, and I can't wait to see 
what the fuck can do next man you know what i mean cool all right that's gonna be it for this reaction y'all uh, before i end the video though make sure you guys look at the links down below you can find my patreon where i am 10 episodes ahead with the full reactions available and you can find my discord come on in and join our server you know what i'm saying other than that i'm out of here y'all have a good one and i'll see y'all for the next episode of borto hey peace